is one of the most enigmatic and mysterious stories in all of the Torah. Many decades of unspeakable horror, persecution, and slavery have passed, and the Jewish people are crying out to the Almighty for salvation. And finally, the day dawns where he inspires a shepherd by the name of Moses to amble with his sheep out in the desert of Midian and to approach a remote mountain that would in the future be the mountain of Sinai where the Torah would be given. And it is adjacent to this mountain that Moses beholds an unbelievable sight. He sees the thorn bush, the sneh, consumed with fire. And Moses walks over and in curiosity is observing why is it that this thorn bush, ablaze with flames, will not be consumed? And it is from amidst those flames that God appears to Moses and gives him the great charge and mission that would define Moses' life to go to Egypt and to go to Pharaoh, inform Pharaoh to let the Jews go and inform the Jewish people that behold the God of their ancestors has finally heard their cries and their pleas and the day of their deliverance is near. What is the meaning of this story? If God wanted Moshe to go to Egypt, God could have appeared to Moshe as he had done and will do many times without all these apparitions and through the mysterious revelation of a thorn bush and fire. What is the meaning that the first communication, the first time that Moshe and the Almighty meet is in this locale in the desert by the mountain of Sinai with a thorn bush, a flame but not being consumed, that it get, causes Moses great curiosity. And we don't understand what it is that Moses understood from this story that leads him to become the great leader that he eventually became. One of the great insights is that God wanted Moses to appreciate that the Jewish people are an eternal people. The Jewish people are an immortal people. Moses could not understand how is it that God, a compassionate God, a kind God, a loving God, can tolerate the unspeakable suffering of his children? How does God allow such inhumanity? How does God allow such cruelty to befall his beloved people? How does God tolerate any injustice? any suffering of any human being in the world. And so God comes into the, to Moses in the image of a fire of a burning bush, telling Moses that the burning bush is symbolic of the Jewish people. We will endure and we will endure more and more. The Jewish people who have endured the fires of hell from the very beginning of time up until our times, the crematory of Europe. And yet, the Torah tells us, Moses was made to understand the bush, the Jewish people, shall never be consumed. We will never truly burn. We are eternal and we are immortal. But here is the secret of the story. God led Moses specifically to the space by Mount Sinai for this revelation. It was a double message. God wanted Moses to understand that the next great revelation that will happen to him and the Jewish people will be at this space. As I appear to you now, so will I appear to you when you come to this very space. This is the sign that God tells Moshe. You will tell the Jewish people at this very place, this is where you will come and we shall meet again. But there's also another message here. And the message is that God is telling Moshe, you must understand that the eternal story of the Jewish people, the secret of their survival is the fact that they are connected to Sinai for all time. The story, the events that happen on Sinai, the giving of the Ten Commandments and the revelation and the giving of the Torah is what allows the Jewish people to withstand and to overcome all the fires of the world that have tried to suppress us, have tried to destroy the Jewish spark and the Jewish soul. God tells Moshe, you shall know that no matter how difficult it seems, no, how, no matter how strong the fire is burning, no matter how much you cry out and you want to know the answers to your existential questions, 
you must know as the first and future leader of the Jewish people that the Jewish people are this bush as long as they are connected to Mount Sinai, as long as they are connected to the Torah, they are indestructible. No f power, no force in the world will suppress them or overcome them. Yes, it's true. At the time, it seems that we are ablaze and we are overcome and that we are at the brink sometimes. But know this, he tells Moses. Moses while you are not able to understand the true motivations, the reasons and how I run this world and why I allow, some, I allow suffering to take place. Why did I put my children through this? You must know this. The secret of the burning bush is the eternity of the Jewish people and the eternity of the Torah. As long as those two are connected, as long as you understand that the story of the bush is connected to Mount Sinai and Mount Sinai is connected to the bush in the same location, you should know one thing. The Torah is eternal and the Jewish people are eternal. What seems to you as this great conflagration on the outside is only the external story. But deep down, God says, I am with you. I am in the bush. I am in the fire. What allows the Jewish people to survive and gives us hope and courage and optimism is to know that we are never alone. Not only are we not alone, God is with us. He is inside the bush with us. It is that's why the bush cannot consume us. That's why the fire will never burn us because we are with God and we are at Mount Sinai connected to the Torah. And just as God and his Torah are eternal, so too his people who are attached to the Torah. As we say, The Torah tells us, you, as long as you cleave and connect to Hashem, who is alive and eternal, we will surely be eternal as well. May God bless us. May God protect us. And may remember that all the fires of the world that rage and that threaten to consume, we should always know that as long as we are holding on to Mount Sinai, as long as we are holding on to our Torah, the fires, it can singe us, it can surround us, it can threaten us. But Enenu Uko, we shall persevere. We will never be diminished. We will never succumb. Shabbat Shalom.